Hi, I'm Ken. I'm going to be walking you through this unit here. Congratulations on your new purchase. Uh, we're going to start here at the LP tanks. It's going to say supply this way. That means you're going to run off this tank over here. I recommend keeping one closed and one open so that way whenever you need the new tank, you know that one is empty. You can have it filled. Moving on over here, you're going to see some stabilizing jacks that you're going to use this handle for. Righty tighty runs them down, lefty loosey opens them back up. Then you got your awning here. We're going to go over how to bring this down. On both sides of the awning, you're going to find a little handle right here. Okay, making sure that's flipped up out of the way. Another thing here, you're going to make sure that this knob in behind here is just loose to the touch. It doesn't have to be tight. Last thing you need to do before pulling it down, right here, you're going to take this loop, loop it around, push your switch up. Grab a hold of the loop and pull down on it. Both sides operate exactly the same. The reason why you had this loose is so that it would extend. Slide this up and you're gonna see this little top piece right here clicks in to the cap. And that's what holds it there. Once you've done that, you're going to grab here, not here, you have to grab here. You're gonna pull and you're gonna tighten this knob right here. And what that does is gives you a little bit of tension in the awning fabric so that you can avoid any light rains, anything like that. Always recommend heavy rains, roll the awning in. Uh, if you don't have that option, it's a light rain, they will, water will run off this pretty good. Heavy winds, always recommend putting the awning in. You will extend both sides the same way with this lever right here, and that's it. If you do wish, you do have the option to take this bottom off and use the foot directly on the ground. Lift the handle, drop it back down. Make sure that's closed. You're gonna reach right here, pull this to the side, making sure this is loose, which I did not do. And we'll slide back down. Once you've done that and you're ready to go, both sides in the same position, both handles both loose. It's easier for two people to do it, but as for sake of the video, I can show you how to, one person would. You grab a hold of the roll, you release it. You climb yourself down this way, you grab a hold of the strap, and then you start to release your tension on it, and it will start to go up by itself. Once you hit a certain point, make sure you hook your cord into it. If it doesn't go, if it's stuck, it will stuck, or the rest of the way up. And that's as far as that goes. Sometimes it get a little stuck, get a little shove. Click these back down. Make sure the knob is still snug again. And that's how you operate the awning. Moving on over here. Got an exterior shower. Got your water heater you're gonna access here. This is both an electric and a gas water heater. To turn on the electric, you have a switch under here, on, off. Right here's the plug that goes in. It's called an anode rod. So the tank doesn't deteriorate and the anode rod does. Around the back here, you'll find where your shore cord comes out. It plugs into 30 amp service. You just lift that lid and pull open. Cable hookups on the back side here. Coming under here, you're gonna see your gray and your black tank drain. Okay. Valves marked with a gray handle for your gray tanks. Bathroom, sink and shower, kitchen sink. Black tank, strictly toilet. All comes out right here. Last but not least on the outside, you have your water hookups. You have your gravity feed to fill the tank. You have your city water that you run right out of the campground.